This is the lock picking newbie, and uh, today I'm playing around with uh, these different driver pins that came with the uh, Sparrows reload kit. So the lock is this uh, GMS uh, mortise cylinder um, with the uh, Corbin L4 keyway. Uh, you saw me pick that in, an, in a prior video, and I, I think maybe I will eventually make this into a challenge lock, but this is not making a challenge lock today. This is uh, just experimenting with these different kind of pins, and uh, there's all kinds of different pins in here. Um, we've got um, spools and mushrooms and serrated, and then we've got these super special uh, chess piece type pins. Um, in the kit. Uh, so what I did is um, in one of the earlier videos there was a comment to the effect that hey if you take the key out and put your driver pins in, into the the core here you can kind of see what it's going to look like and uh, that's what I did. So um, the key is out and you can see that's a spool being very spoolish and here's a serrated pin and all that. So let's see what this is going to look like, uh, here's the original um, drivers, all very standard, of course. And uh, we'll just take these uh, drivers out, and I'll show you what we're going to do for this first uh, version of the lock. Uh, it's a um, mushroom, giving me flashbacks to the Medico mushroom, um, a spool, a fully serrated pin, another spool, a partially serrated uh, pin, and then another mushroom. And then the key pins, I'm gonna leave, um, I'm gonna leave alone. Okay. So let's see how this, um, how this pins up and how we can pick it. Okay, uh, let's get started. Using the pry bar in 50 thousandths. And we're just going to try to get those pins into the false set. Okay, not much on one, tiny bit of something on two. Okay, a little double click, third click, fourth click on three, five, six. Feeling for any kind of spring back there. Let's just go back to four. That feels springy now. Five. I pushed on five, but I think I overset it. So let's just start over real quick. I'll um, use a little bit more tension because one's binding now. Let's get that out of the way. Now I think I'm in the, the uh, belly of the mushroom there. Same thing with two. All right, here's three. And we've got all these little clicks. But right there, I think it's springy, so I'm gonna stop. Four springy already, but I still pushed a click onto it. Five is way springy. And then here's six. Okay, a little bit of motion on the core. Let's see if I can get some counter rotation there. All right, so I think I got six set. That is a mushroom. Back to five. We'll click on five. Let's see if we can get on four. We'll click on four. I dropped six. Mm. Now let's leave that guy alone for the time being. So let's check one. Nothing. Two. Nothing. Three, springy. Four is kind of nowhere to be found. Five, springy. Six. Oh. Got an overset somewhere. Okay, I just let one drop. One pin. I don't know which pin. Oh, it's two. Binding hard. Oh, wait, maybe that was three. Let's see if we can get them set. Might be set. Five's all loose. Oh, okay. Now we're in the um, false set. 
And that was, um, I just kind of touched six and got into the false set after all that. So now, do we think that six is actually set? Or do we need to go back to it? For now, let's work on, see if we can work on two. One is way up there, so I'm gonna say that's set. And in fact, I'm gonna grab my old friend, <clears throat> the number one. So we've got one right there, two is right here. So let's see if I can get some counter on two. And we're open. So I wanna tell you, um, six pins, all really weird. Um, you know, those spools and uh, serrated pins and everything else. So, um, yeah, the, uh, so the experiment, uh, let's just say is success because those, um, that sort of random arrangement of pins, um, uh, is hard. So, uh, Let's see if we can just get this gutted real quick and make sure that uh, no uh, nefarious evildoers have uh, changed my uh, pinning. What evildoers could that have been? The evil lock gnomes. Yeah, you know, basically just get the dog on um, false set and, um, and and then it's I mean it's actually super fun uh, once there's the false set then you can just kind of go and find the the uh, spool or mushroom um, but as you could see it, it's with these weird pins in here um, it is just funny and weird to um, pick this guy so, there you have it. Um, quick reminder about the giveaway. Don't forget, uh, I believe, um, well, either this one or the following one will be the last video prior to the actual giveaway. Check uh, video 55, the description for how to enter. And with that, I will thank you all for participating in the channel. This is the lockpicking newbie. Have a good day.